Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of Assassin's Creed. I am your host, Jethko. We are going to assassinate Garnier de la Plus. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it, but that's how I'm going to pronounce it. We gotta uh, talk to the scholars, well not talk to, we gotta blend in with the scholars to get in. In order to get close enough to la Plus to assassinate him. Otherwise, we start a huge fight, and it becomes an ordeal. Oh jeez. Oh dear. I have every reason to be here. I'm traveling. Tell me what I can and cannot do. Yeah! Oh, I fell down. Is there a reason for his nonsense? Come up. Let me show you everything I have. Oh, wait. Is it these ones? Oh, a crazy person. Go away. Alright, we're blending in. That would hurt your hand a lot. She's like, yeah, I want to crack your skull with my knuckle cartilage. Enough, my child. I asked you to retrieve the patient, not to kill him. There, there. Everything will be all right. No. Give me no. your hand. Don't touch me. Not again. Cast out this fear, else I cannot help you. Help me? Like you helped the others. You took their souls. I saw. I saw. But not mine. No. You'll not have mine. Ah! Smack. Take hold of yourself. Do you think this gives me pleasure? It was a good bad thing. I want to hurt you. But you leave me no choice. Every kind word matched by the back of his hand. All lies and deception. He won't... Be content until all bow before him. You should not have done that. Return him to his quarters. I'll be along once I've tended to the You other. can't keep me here. I'll escape again. No, you won't. Break his legs, both of them. Crunch? Ugh. <laughs> Dang, old sock! Oh my gosh. Oh. Have you people nothing better to do? No, not really. I do. I want to kill you. But how? This way. Excuse me. Blend. That way no crazy folk are hitting me. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be good. I've never done this well. Usually I start a fight. My legs! You bastard! Oh, dang it! Oh! Ah, that was horrible. Oh well. Hey, knock it off. You're not allowed to hit me. Oh, come on. Hit him, hit him, get him, get him. Get him. Oh, come on. Yeah! 
Let go your bird. Alright, it was the hard way, but I got it done. Ah. Unless now, yes. The endless dream calls to me. But before I close my eyes, I must know what will become of my children. You mean the people made to suffer your cruel experiments? They'll be free now to return to their homes. Homes? What homes? The sewers? The portals? The prisons that we dragged them from? You took these people against their will. Yes. What little will there was for them to have. Are you really so naive? Do you appease a kind child simply because he wills? But I want to play with fire, father. What would you say? As you wish. Ah. Then you'd answer for his burns. These are not children, but men and women full grown. In body, perhaps, but not in mind. Which is the very damage I sought to repair. I admit, without the piece of Eden, which you stole from us, my progress was slowed. But the herbs, mixtures, and extracts, my guards are proof of this. They were madmen before I found and freed them from the prisons of their own minds. <sighs> and with my death, madmen they will be again. You truly believe you were helping them? It's not what I believe. It's what I know. And he's dead. And I totally forgot to sign out of my chat. So now I gotta get out of here. Oh, this ass in. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No warning or nothing. He's just like, yeah. Mercy. Crazy person. No. no. Hey. You look familiar. Oh, that's totally not who I wanted to kill. <laughs> Sorry, lady. <laughs> Oh, that's funny. Die! <laughs> Climb. There you go. Oh, I jumped the chasm. Oh, but I can. Where are you hiding? Oh, almost didn't make that one. Really? Haha! <laughs> oh, that hurt. What news, Altaïr? Gagné is dead. Then you should return to Masayak with news of your victory. There is something else. 
Speak it then, or would you have me read your mind? What do you think he wanted from these people? That he would keep them an experiment on them as he did? Yours is not to ask, but act, Altair. It doesn't matter what he did or why. Only that he's dead. But Gagne seemed to believe he was helping these people. Is that what you saw? No. What I saw was not a place of healing, but of pain. Then why are we having this conversation? I... I don't know. Forget I spoke of it. I already have. It's because he's so old. Dude's like 300 years old. And back to Masiaf. Or are we getting taken out of the Animus? Oh yeah, we're out of the Damn Animus. It. What's the problem now? I'm getting weird temperature readings. I think the Animus is overheating. Christ, it's always something. How long? Too soon to tell. These delays are unacceptable, Miss Stillman. I want progress reports every hour. It's gonna be a while, Desmond. Why don't you go lie down or something? Get some rest. You mean why don't I hack into somebody's computer? Why is he always yelling at you? It's his machine. His theories. He's not the one who built it. Who did? You? <laughs> Personal space? No. Abstergo has a team of engineers. Not much they don't have. But I did oversee the assembly. Guess that's why he gets so angry with me. He's a dick. He's under a lot of pressure. We all are. Can't believe you're defending the guy. Warren saved my life, so if he wants to yell a little, let him. What do you mean he saved your life? You're not the only one who doesn't get to go home at night. Wait, are you saying you're a prisoner? When they first approached me, I was finishing up my PhD. The university had made it clear I had no future there. They didn't like the subject of my doctorate, called it pseudoscience. Said keeping me on would discredit and embarrass them. <sighs> it was the same everywhere. Other universities, companies I interviewed with. Pretty soon I was out of money and out of time. I was this close to waiting tables. Then I got a letter. From Vidic? He said he'd been following my career since undergrad. That he believed in my work and wanted to meet to discuss my future. You have no idea how good it felt to hear that. So I met with him. What did I have to lose? And he offered you a job? Yes. Here at Abstergo. Helping out on the Animus Project. I'd have a chance to test my theories and prove the professors wrong. How could I turn that down? I think I'm missing the part where you became a prisoner. Sometimes I wonder... if they weren't behind it all. If they manipulated events so that I'd get desperate. They can do that. They can do anything. I didn't think when I agreed to come here. They even told me I'd be trapped. For six months, a year max. Once the product launched, there'd be no need for secrecy anymore. But until then, I'd be a guest of the company. At least, that's what they said. And when the Animus was ready? They came in while I was sleeping. Three guys. Guns. They dragged me out of bed. God. The worst part is I knew them. One guy, Richard, we ate lunch together sometimes. And now he was gonna... They were cracking jokes. I tried to pull away. He hit me. And that's when he told me I was going to die. Christ, what did you Nothing. do? Nothing. I kept telling myself it wasn't real. And then Warren was there, shouting at them to get away from me. And they listened. Jesus. He's not a happy man, Desmond. I wouldn't even say he's a good man, but he saved my life. They never came for me again. And he promised they never would. You're still stuck here working for these nut jobs. But I'm alive. Anyway. I really do need to get the Animus repaired. I'll see you tomorrow, Desmond.
eventually we will freaking get the floppy card or whatever passcode for the laptop. Aren't you tired? No. Look at how bright it is outside. It's like one in the afternoon. What the hell? Someone's been in here. Yeah. Looks like some kind of access code. <laughs> There it is. Rise and shine. We've got quite a day ahead of us. You're in a good mood this morning. Miss Stillman has made some modifications to the Animus. You should be able to remain inside even longer now. And help you with your treasure hunt. This is serious business, Mr. Miles. I don't think you fully appreciate the work that Abstergo does. Maybe because I don't actually know what you people do. We change the world. Every day, in a hundred different ways. Did you know that nearly every single breakthrough of the past millennia, be it medical, mechanical, or philosophical, has come from Abstergo or its predecessors? That's a bold claim, Doc. Think you might be exaggerating a bit? Not in the slightest. Oh, we certainly don't take the credit. That would arouse far too much suspicion. We choose our beneficiaries with great care. Why? Isn't it obvious? It means we're in control. But how? What makes you guys so special, so smart? That you happen to invent all these things while us mere mortals stumble around like idiots? To be fair, we don't invent them. We find them. Find them? They're gifts, Mr. Miles. From those who came before. We'll have to continue this discussion later. Time's wasting. Whoa, let me walk. Morning, Desmond. Yeah, hi. Hi, it's still one in the afternoon. Here we all are. We're going in! Preparation is crucial to your success. Clear the area of archers and guards before confronting your assassination target. Come in, Altair. You've done well. Three of the nine lay dead, and for this you have my thanks. But do not think to rest upon your laurels. Your work has just begun. I am yours to command, Master. King Richard, emboldened by his victory at Arca, prepares to move south towards Jerusalem. Salahadin is surely aware of this, and so he gathers his men before the broken citadel of Arsuf. Would you have me kill them both, then? End their war before it begins in earnest? No. To do so would scatter their forces, and subject the realm to the bloodlust of 10,000 aimless warriors. It will be many days before they meet, and while they march, they do not fight. You must concern yourself with a more immediate threat. The men who pretend to govern in their absence. Give me names and I'll give you blood. So I will. Abun Nukud? The wealthiest man in Damas, Majduddin, Regent of Jerusalem, William of Montferrat, Liege Lord of Akka. What are their crimes? Greed, arrogance, the slaughter of innocents. Walk amongst the people of their cities. You'll learn the secrets of their sins. Do not doubt that these men are obstacles to the peace we seek. Then they will die. Another of your items is restored. Take it. See that it is put to good use. Return to me as each man falls, that we might better understand their intentions. You get it. And Altair, take care. Your recent work has likely attracted the attention of the city guard. They'll be more suspicious than they've been in the past.
Where did I get back? Oh, Alright, I can finally catch ledges. Crab break, I like it. Whoa, oh, big jump. What is he doing? Has he gone mad? Oh come on, you guys have seen this before. Altair, it seems my students do not fully understand what it is to wield a blade. Perhaps you could show them what you know. Okie dokie. Translation, I suck at teaching. Will you help me? Yes, I love it. So useful. The work of a master. And that, my students, is how we all should fight. You must be busy. I understand. Do not merely hold okay. your blade. Become one with it. Whoa. Oh yeah, we don't have to... Yeah, we can fast travel. Oh, let's fast travel to... Uh, might as well be Damascus. It's on the top. Why not? Outskirt, Bureau... We'll just go straight to the Bureau. When you are exposed, tackle people who are in your way to maintain momentum, and utilize your sprint ability when the path is clear. And here we are in the Bureau. This will be the beginning of the next video. Thank you everybody for watching the assassination of Gagné de Nuplus, or whatever his freaking name was. Be sure to like and subscribe for additional adventures here in Assassin's Creed. I have been your host, Jethko. See you next time.